Hey, General Shop Safety One. First one, is cleaning a safety concern? The answer is yes, it is. If we got stuff all over this room, we're tripping on things, uh, our tables aren't clear where we're on them, it's not gonna be safe for us or the people around us. So make sure we clean. The shop needs to be clean, it is a safety concern. If somebody's using a tool, like I'm using this bandsaw here, how far should the next person be, okay? Uh, so I'm working here, where should the next person be? Uh, should they be on the other side of the room? No, that's too far. Okay, can they be inside of this? Sometimes this is a good guide, other times it's not. And so um, this would be too close. My, my rule on the test is that we're about an arm's length away, okay? So be an arm's length away, you shouldn't be able to touch the person that's using the tool. Okay, give them some space. Uh, if we are using some hand tool, okay, and we're done using them, they should go back in the cabinets, okay? Where did you get it from? Should go. We got labels on all this stuff over here. So make sure uh, if you pulled it out of the chisel drawer, get it back in the chisel drawer, okay? Next up, when is it appropriate to wear open-toed shoes like those ones? Okay, well, those aren't open-toed. Uh, it is never appropriate, okay? I just grabbed a chisel, it's basically a knife. You drop that on your toe, it's gonna stab you, okay? So make sure we need to have closed toed shoes and uh, no open toed shoes any time, it's not okay. Uh, when we're making a cut on a machine, okay? What should I be paying attention to, okay? I'm working here, this tool is on, where should I be looking? A lot of times I see people, like as a teacher, I come over, I just want to watch them make a cut, right? And make sure they're doing things safely. And then they're making a cut, and then all of a sudden they look at me. I'm like, what are you looking at me for? Your hands should, and you should be paying attention to your hands. Where are they located? Where's the blade? Where's the wood? Uh, what kind of pace are you going at? All your focus should be here. You should not be on the person behind you uh, talking or whatever. So make sure don't distract people that are on the machine. So we want to give them some space to follow, uh, focus, okay? I uh, already said, where do tools go when you um, are done with them? Let's see, you should always inspect these before you use a machine. Uh, not every tool has blade guides or guards. This one does. Okay, this blade guard is in a good position, maybe a little bit tall, depending on the, the size of the wood. We're paying attention to how much blade is exposed. So on the bandsaw here, I might have to adjust it for a bigger piece of material, or if I got a small piece, it's going to drop down. So we don't have a lot of blade exposed. So we want to adjust our blade guards to make sure that we're safe. <coughs> uh, before you use a tool like this bandsaw or that shop saw, we want to take a safety test, okay? So you should always take the safety test beforehand. You can't just walk up to this tool, even though you've seen somebody use it, and get after it, okay? The safety test and instructions, first time you use every single tool, Mr. Duffy will be right there to watch you, make sure you're getting it done correctly, okay? If you have long hair, it's important to go ahead and pull it back. One of the worst tools for long hair, or clothing, or jewelry, is a drill press. When you turn this on, it just starts spinning. Your hair gets caught in there, it yanks you, it slaps your head against there, and then uh, it yanks, pulls the hair out of your head. So if you have long hair, tie it up. You've got uh, necklaces, jewelry, anything like that. We wanna make sure that we're taking care of it before we come over and use the machines. We gotta tie it up, make sure we're safe. And when you are walking by a tool, so I'm walking around the room, let's say I'm headed over here. I should be aware, listen, okay, is this tool on or not? The bandsaw is actually one of the harder tools to tell when the, the vents are on and all the noise is in the room. It's hard to tell whether it's actually on or not. And so um, we just kind of assume that tools are on. I shouldn't go up here and just touch a blade, okay? We want to assume that it's on so that I don't get hurt by it, okay? So I, lots of times I'm walking around the room and I walk by something and I just stop and I'm like, there's nobody even close, this tool is on. People just forget, they walk away from the tools. So just assume that the tools are on, keep yourself safe. All right, I think that's 10 of them. Good luck.